Backyard Brains presents... The Electro-Oculogram, also known as the EOG. For this experiment, you will need a heart and brain spiker shield, an Arduino, a computer, and yourself. Let's begin with the setup for left versus right eye movements. We will place the backyard brain's headband on Pablo's forehead such that both electrodes are on either side of one of Pablo's eyes. To improve the electrical interface, we will add some conductive gel in between the electrode and the skin. We connect the red alligator clips of your orange interface cable to the electrodes on either side of the eye and the black alligator clip to a ground patch electrode placed behind the ear. An alternative configuration that results in a cleaner signal is to place adhesive patch electrodes on the outer side of each of the eyes and the ground as usual on the mastoid process behind the ear. The electrode cable configurations are the same as before. The orange cable goes into the orange port on your heart and brain spiker shield and the USB cable on the other side. The other end of the USB cable goes into the USB port on your computer and we are ready to begin. But what is going on here? The eye is actually a dipole, with the front of the eye being more positive than the back of the eye. As such, when there are eye movements, there are changes in the electromagnetic field surrounding the eye that we can detect through careful placement of electrodes. Our heart and brain spiker shield amplifies the electrical signal the eye generates such that we can view it on a computer. Open our spike recorder software, click on the settings button, and select connect via USB port. Within a couple seconds, the signal should change to a putative eye signal you can subsequently examine. You can zoom out of the time scale by using the two finger motion on your trackpad or the scroll wheel on your mouse and zoom in on the Y axis by clicking on the positive button on the left side of the screen. And now let's see what happens when Pablo moves his eyes left versus right. The up and down deflections are the EOG. The signal is much stronger when the electrodes are placed on either side of the eyes. Now let us examine the setup for up versus down eye movements. Reposition the backyard brain's headband such that one of the electrodes is directly above an eye. Add some gel to improve the interface. Place an adhesive patch electrode underneath the eye and then connect the red alligator clips of your orange interface cable to the electrodes above and below the eye and the black ground cable to a patch electrode placed behind the ear. An alternative configuration is to use a patch electrode in lieu of the backyard brain's headband. And everything else is the same. Now let's take a look at what up and down eye movements look like. Again, the up and down deflections are the EOG. Blinks will also show up in your recordings of up and down eye movements, but you can exploit these to make interfaces. For instance, we can build a blink detector. Go into threshold mode on a spike recorder software, move the threshold bar to an appropriate level, and turn on the sound icon. Now, every time you blink, you should hear a beep. You can make monotonal music. We can also do another experiment where we interface your eye movements with lights. First, visit the experiment webpage, go to the download section, and click on the link that says Arduino Sketch for Eye Movement Detection. This will download a custom Arduino program that you will then need to upload to your Heart and Brain Spiker Shield Arduino board. Make sure you have Arduino Uno selected, you're connected to the USB port, and upload. And now see what happens when Pablo moves his eyes. Modify the code to make your own interface. When you are done, go back to the Backyard Brains Experiment webpage and click on the link that says Arduino Sketch for sending data to computer. And re-upload this original Arduino Spike Recorder program to your Heart and Brain Spiker Shield Arduino so that it can be ready for the next person who wants to do some eye movement recordings. We thank our production team, and this is only just the beginning as we continue to investigate and design interfaces with the electrical signals of the human body. What will you design? What will you discover? Backyard Brains, neuroscience for everyone.